Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. This week, Final Cut Pro 10 busted out its 10.0.3 update, and that brings back multicam editing, which was MIA in the first release, and that pissed a ton of people off. So now that it's back, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial of how to edit multicam clips. So we have an acoustic guitar shot with three camera angles, two Canon 60D shots, both one and two as you guys can see right here. And then for the third camera, that's a Canon ELP 300HS, just a little point and shoot to kind of show the behind the scenes, the Zoom H1, which the audio is right here. We'll go ahead and play that so you guys can hear it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select all four of these clips, all three video and all audio. So we're going to select that, right click, and then we're going to want to select new multi-cam clip, not synchronize, and we're not going to select compound, we're going to select new multi-cam clip. From there it's going to take us to the setup little icon that we can name our clip, so let's go ahead and call this acoustic, can't really type, acoustic guitar test. And we actually have a lot of options as far as synchronization goes. For now we're going to use audio, but you can see if you wanted to, you could use time code, content created, start a first clip, and even the first marker on the angle, but we'll go back to the default settings right now. Leave everything automatic, select OK, let Final Cut do its thing, and it is now almost done. So that's pretty quick, real time, no speeding up necessary. And now we have the multicam clip. Now we can scrub it and we can do two things from here. We can double click, which is actually gonna expand everything. Kind of a little behind the scenes look at all how it works. You can see how each clip is slightly altered. That's because it's syncing everything up to the same point. Now we have the three video files, the Zoom H1 audio file, which we'll monitor right here. All these little tabs basically let you select what you wanna monitor with. So right now we're gonna listen to the Zoom H1 audio. And the cool thing with this, it's not really where you edit the clips, it's if you want to make tweaks or add effects to each individual clip, which I'll show you guys a little bit later in this tutorial. Now to actually edit a multicam clip, we're going to head back to the project, drop that multicam clip in, you can press E, and at first it might be a little confusing because nothing happens if you try to double click it, you might be a little frustrated. We're actually going to head up to the window tab, select show angle viewer. And now, behold, we can see the multicam editor. So you can see up top, we have all four shots. We have both Canon 60D 1 and 2. We have the point and shoot, and we have the Zoom H1 audio. Now, before we do any editing, we're going to select our starting point. So let's go ahead and drag our playhead over to the spot we want to start with. Once we have that, we can press B for blade. Press A once again to go back to the select tool. And now we can delete that clip we don't want. And now we can begin the multicam edit. My first step is to make sure only the Zoom H1 audio plays. I don't want to hear any camera audio. So by default, it should be set to enable video and audio switching. We're going to head down, select the Zoom H1 clip, and you guys can see it works. Nothing but the Zoom H1 is playing. The problem is, though, is there's no video. So we're going to head back to the start of the clip. We're going to switch this actually to only video. In this way, we're not going to touch the audio, we're only going to tweak the video angle. So as we select our first video angle, you'll notice the green audio is selected, so that way we're hearing the Zoom H1 audio, but we're watching the first clip. So now we're ready to make some cuts. We're going to stop it, bring the playhead back to the beginning, and we'll hit spacebar again to play. And that's going to put everything in real time, and you guys can see it's actually extremely easy and actually pretty fun to make some cuts. So hover the mouse, you'll see a little blade tool over that clip, just click the mouse and you'll notice in the timeline it's actually going to memorize that. So here's that blade tool, click it once you like that clip, and again in the timeline it is memorizing each cut you make in real time. So I'm going to shut up for a second and let you guys watch these cuts happen. So that's pretty badass, right? So once I stop this, you can actually go down and fine tune each of your cuts. It's not like once you make them, they're set in stone concrete. You can actually tweak these and make sure to get them to your liking. So I'm going to stop you guys right here. We're actually going to do a little advanced trickery. So if you notice that third clip, the point and shoot's a little washed out and white compared to the Canon 60D. So what we're going to do is actually head back to the event where we have that multicam clip. We're going to double click that and that's going to expand everything again. And remember how I talked about how you can individually tweak each angle? We're going to select that washed out clip. We're going to match the color to the Canon 60D shots. And you can see it warms it up instantly. So that way once we head back to the project, all those prior edits that we made, those don't change at all. We just made that little tweak and that changes the color but it keeps everything else intact. 
From here, you can fine tune any adjustments, pick the angles you want. You can actually trim this, apply transitions. You can actually even select all these, put them in a compound clip. And that way, if you want to add like a master effect to the whole entire clip, you can do that. Or just a little trick for you guys right here for audio, I'm going to add a little compressor to the acoustic guitar. And that's just going to fatten up a little bit. So here's with it on. Here's with it off. And here's with it on again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to watch the entire acoustic guitar, go ahead and click the video right here. That is Josh Kenson on guitar. His Twitter is in the description below. Aside from that, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later.